everyone. So I have this pointed towards my bookshelf right now because I'm going to add a book section to my channel. So it's going to be beauty and books. So I figured for the first intro video to the book section, I would do a what's on my bookshelf. So this bookshelf here is five shelves. This is my main one in my living room. I do have a small one in my spare bedroom, but we'll start here and I'll start on the top and work my way down. So in the top corner here, I have some Debbie McCumber books. It's the Heart of Texas series. Um, I haven't started that. I have Holes back there. I have a Stephen King. I believe this one is the Green Mile. Yeah, I do have the Wicked series here. I don't have the fourth book, but these ones that I bought, I purchased because the edges of the book are colored and the fourth one does not come like that. Um, I do have the Fifty Shades and some similar books like that. Silver Linings Playbook. I have 13 Reasons Why, The Blind Side, Friday Night Lights, P.S. I Love You. These ones are Candace Bushnell, um, The Carrie Diaries, and Summer in the City, which is a version off of Sex in the City. And then these are just kind of my, like, relationship type books. I have Holes here, which was down there. I do have two copies of that. I do have these like more children books, I guess you could call them. It's The Wizard of Oz, The Jungle Book, and The Secret Garden. So down on the second shelf here, this is another Sex in the City book, which I'll get to in just a second. But most of these books here are all Nicholas Sparks. Yes, I have almost all of them. I do have a Danielle Steele book. Um, I have a Jackie Collins book right here. This one is Redwall, which I don't know if anybody knows or remembers, but it used to be a TV show when I was a kid and I loved it. I have a Seventh Heaven book here, Peter Pan, a Nancy Drew book, and then in this corner I have my other Candace Bushnell books. So I have these four. I do have another Debbie McCumber book, which is actually a Christmas book, and surprisingly I did not mind it. These two books I actually got from work. Um, and I just kind of took them home and that was that. So on this shelf here, most of all of these, about half my bookshelf is all notebooks. This, I have another Jackie Collins book. It's one of my hardcovers. I have these, they're called Fairy Tale Fatal Mysteries. Um, so there's Snow White, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast. So it's kind of like Disney's princesses so far. I don't know if she has any more or what the other ones are like. And I have not read these yet. So I do have this book that I'm borrowing from my friend right now. I have this book and one other Dexter book. I wanted to start the series, but I haven't read it yet. I have an Ellen book. I have a Mario Puzo who does The Godfather. Um, yeah, this one I don't believe is part of that, but he I do have those books on another shelf. Uh, another Danielle Steele book. I have this book called Stolen. So down here, I have all the Lauren Conrad books that she has written. There's five of them. I believe I've read them all, but that was a long time ago, so I don't actually remember. So here I have two other hardcover Jackie Collin books. And right over here, I have the few paperbacks that I have. So this one, Power Trip, I have in both hardcover and paperback. And the hardcover of Drop Dead Beautiful, I did have in paperback, but I don't seem to have it anymore, or at least I can't find it, so I do want that. Um, I'll move these Lauren Conrad books for a second. So I have my autobiography books here, so I have a Steven Tyler, I have a couple Russell Brand books, Teresa Caputo, who used to be the Long Island Medium, I have a Nick Carter book, Shania Twain, uh, a couple 50 Cent books, Perks of Being a Wallflower, and then over here, I have Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but it looks like it's the number two book, and I do want to find the first one. And then I have The Da Vinci Code and the second book in that series, which is Angels and Demons. So then down onto my bottom shelf here, I have another uh, Godfather book. It's The Godfather Returns. I have a couple Tucker Max books. I have another autobiography book here. Um, that's a reality book, I guess. It was that Catfish TV show. Um, I do have some philosophy books actually, and it's Girls in Philosophy and Dr. Susan Philosophy. I did want the Alice in Wonderland one, but I can't seem to find it anywhere except for online. But I do have four other variations of Alice in Wonderland. So this one's After Alice, Through the Looking Glass, um, Alice in Wonderland. They're all by Lewis Carroll, so I have all of those. Those are just notebooks, and then this one is Dorothy Must Die. So I am going to go off to my spare bedroom. I'm just going to put these back here and I will show you the very few books that I have in there. It's not very much, but it's a couple extra, so I'll be right back. 
Okay, so here we are, so don't mind the messiness. So the first two books I have is called First Light, and this one is All Is All Not Forgotten. I bought these probably back in the summer, haven't read them, don't even know what they're about, to be honest. Um, I have a few books here, so I have these two Stephen King books, they're Under the Dome, volume one and or part one and part two this was a tv series that i wanted to watch but i never got around to it um this book the intercept by dick wolf the only reason i purchased this was because dick wolf creator of law and order law and order svu is my absolute favorite so i had to buy the book and then this is orange is the new black which i'm almost halfway through this i haven't read this in a very long time couldn't get into it I do have lots of book that, books that have bookmarks in them, and I will make a separate video on all of those. So down here, I have my other Dexter book, and then I have some Jodi Picklot books, which I have not read at all. And then the last but not least, I have this little book series or book set, I guess, of some James Bond books. And I haven't read those either. And I think that is all for books at the moment. Okay, so that is it for now. I am reading a couple of books. I have a couple at home and I have a couple that my friend has lent me that I'm trying to get through slowly but surely. Um, I've had a hard time trying to get into books. So trying to find one that I've been really into and wanting to read has been a little difficult. And that's why there's so many books that have bookmarks in them. But like I said, I'll do a separate video on that, which I will probably do soon. And I do want to do a, like a book tag instead of like all these beauty tags. Um, there's, I want to do a book tag. So I came up with some questions that um, I think would be kind of fun to answer. So I will probably film that, not tonight, but probably tomorrow if I get the chance to, and then I'll put that up right after. So yeah, so that's about it for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. If there's any books that you think I should read, let me know down in the comments. And if you have any of these books or have read any of the books that I have showed you or kind of gone over or just quickly skimmed through, let me know. Let me know what you thought of them. Most of those books I have not read yet. Um, like I said, it's hard for me to try and find a book that I'm interested in. So even though I have tons of them and I'm interested when I buy them. So let me know what you think of those books and which one you think I should read next. Okay, I will see you later, guys. Bye.